We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. Bobo, darling, please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh, no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... it was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Ha! Huh? Didn't you hear? I got the water running! Ah! Ah! Master, let's give them a moment alone. Understand, we got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were! I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy! Because you're dust now! Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were, and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo.
Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so, too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back, though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. I promise. This scene hits much differently these days from the last time I saw it. Not counting my practice file. Just... I'll go into more detail another time, but... I can relate very much to Bopo and Mom up in this scene. You did your best, Dust, and for that I am grateful. We'll manage somehow. We always do. We talked to Bopo. He has a quest for Are us. Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think somehow you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much. Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. We will indeed. And we get the quest, Snowflakes. As a final goodbye to his father, Bobo was asked that you bring him some snow. There's snow in the mountains to the north, but you'll need some way to transport it back to Mud Pot. We are not going to be getting into the mountains to the north for a little bit longer, unfortunately. But when we do, we'll be sure to bring that for him. We slide through here, we can get Gappy's sheep, and I believe this makes five. So a few more things I want to do in Mud Pot before we end this episode, so. Uh, what does Gappy say, actually? If you can find all six of my sheep, I'd... Alright. He just reminds you of the sheep. Moving onward. Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. Well, you're able to get the waters flowing again and save the valley, you were unable to save Bopo's father. You must now travel north to the Sorrowing Meadow to meet with this Baron Kane. Anyway, we're going to talk to Flowhop real quick. Hello again, Flowhop. Hello, young man. I hope you're well. We found some clumps of red moss for you. Oh my, yes. These are lovely. They'll last me for quite a while. Here, why don't you stay for a while and have some soup? Guaranteed to be the best soup you've ever had. 
Ah, uh, I appreciate the offer, but we're kind of in a rush. So I'll we'll take it to go. That's a great idea. All right, here you go. Enjoy now. Thank you, Flohop. Take care. All right, for our troubles, we complete this quest, but we also... We actually get food items out of this. She makes us three bowls of... I can't even hope to pronounce that. Generous chunks of tofu and a thick spicy bean broth. Added spices give it that extra kick. So that's really nice. Oh, and we got four trope fingers too, so... Let's go ahead and see Blop. I, it's kind of a long episode. I'm probably going to split this into parts though, so... Uh, I believe up there is the surface. Here we go. Here's the man of the hour. Here you go, Blop. Four Trolk Fingers. Don't spend them all in one place. Woo, Daisy! Bet I could play the piano with these puppies. That's assuming I know what a piano is. Be done right by me, son. Here's a little token of my appreciation. A piano. That's assuming I know what a piano is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tell you what, since you're in the hunting mood, maybe you could help me with my tape. I don't see how those two things relate. Also, I don't want to see how those two things relate. What's wrong with your teeth, Blop? <laughs> Aside from the fact that I only got one left, I've been wanting to construct me some dentures. And if you can bring me ten rockhound teeth, I'd be sitting pretty. Er, smiling pretty. While I'm sitting. In fact, you only got one left? You have like three, dude! Okay. I've been keeping track of all the things people have asked you to do, Dust. This is probably the creepiest one so far. You said it, Fidget. All right, Blop, I'll get you some teeth. I believe you already have the teeth for him. I would love me some teeth. I'm missing out on a whole lot of chewing. Well, that's embarrassing. Okay. There's one more thing I want to do, and then we'll end off this episode, so. Pearly whites. Let me craft a new set of dentures. I want to talk to Smobop. Okay, Smobop, here's a fidget doll for you. Better than the real thing. Seriously, fidget dolls! Those would sell like hotcakes! Ooh, she's pretty! Here, you can have this. Thanks, Smobop. Hmm, <laughs> Bob gave it to me a little while ago. He found it near the surface, I think. Well, thank you. Enjoy your fidget. I love my doll. I love her so much. Love, love, love. All right, now we've completed a better fidget. I was pleased with the doll and it's giving you a peculiar box in exchange. I believe we can actually check that in our inventory. Let's see. Yep. All glowing rifts, glyphs adorn all sides of this peculiar box. That's not creepy at all. Anyway, we're gonna head up here. I said we're gonna head up here. Face this rock hound. Um, actually, there is something I want to do real fast. Oh boy, future me is gonna have a field day. Two thousand. Where we get two thousand gold from? Whatever. All right. Bring this bomb fruit with us because. Because there's something we can, we can do with this. There's something we can do with this. I don't want to risk having this thing do that. Now this guy, he's crazy. Oh. Or not. Okay, in my practice file, that rock hound jumped. What the heck? It's timed. Um, 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 um. Well, that's bad. This is 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 bad. No! No! Damn it! Ugh. Gotta go back. I'll be right back. Okay, as I was saying, this guy, he dove for the bomb fruit on my practice file. It was actually pretty funny. Desperate to die much. Uh-oh, okay, I think we have enough time. Keyword is think. Oh, oh. Okay, I stopped. T I stopped talking there because wow, that was fr what? Okay, 
Because, wow, that was stressful. Okay, that current there, it doesn't look like it does anything right now. It's going to be very important later, but anyway. Let me deal with this guy real fast. Save quickly, and we're going to move onward. General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General, but his actions are curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. When did you grow a heart, my friend? Most unlike you. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? Where are you, Mr. Goodrich? I'm at 1313 Hysteria Terrace. You drive up Murder Gulch Highway along Bloody Creek till you come to Dead Man's Curve. And then you turn right on Poison Bend Road till you come to the cemetery, past the cemetery to Skeleton Flats and up Hysteria Terrace. And, oh, good grief. Oh, what a place to be stuck in. <laughs> 